welcome back to the Soft Tonic News Roundup, where we bring you the most important news from last week. Our first news this week is that Facebook intends to give you more freedom on what you view on your timeline. Until recently, Facebook used a proprietary algorithm to organise timelines, giving you very limited options on what would be displayed. I, for one, am overjoyed at the news, as it gives me the freedom to erase all of those pesky pictures of food that used to really put me off my diet. Currently this update is only available for the mobile app, but we hope it will roll out for the desktop version soon. Our second story this week is that Apple's new mobile OS, iOS 9, is now available to try in public beta. iPhone and iPad users who don't mind suffering the problems inherent with the new OS will be able to try it now by signing up for the Apple beta software program with their Apple ID. Details on how to do this are in the text below, but remember if you do decide to, back up your device first. With Windows 10 coming out at the end of the month, you can be sure there's going to be plenty of news every week, and this is no exception, with two new stories about the new operating system. First, it seems that version 40 of Mozilla's Firefox will be fully compatible with Windows 10. This news was also accompanied by changes that Mozilla intend to make to their browser. And while these do seem primarily aesthetic, they do offer some hints at the direction the company seems to be taking. The other big Windows 10 news is that there will be a native version of Minecraft available for the platform on day one. That's July 29th. Don't worry, however, because if you already own the Java-based version of the game on PC, then this new and separate version will be free. This, of course, will be incredibly powerful for Microsoft as it means when you log into the Windows 10 store for the first time, you'll be greeted by a Minecraft tile. Called Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, the game will launch in beta and cost new users around 10 bucks. Finally this week, sad news as we pay our deepest respects to Satoru Iwata, the CEO of Nintendo who passed away at just 55. Having helmed the company for many years, he saw it through some of its best and worst times. He was a true innovator and a man who shaped the landscape of all gaming. He will be sorely missed. That's it for this week. We'll be back next week with more tech news. Be sure to subscribe so that you never miss out.